Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles: uh, triangle ABC and triangle BDF. Uh, put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AF uh, is equal to this segment uh, FB. This uh, segment uh, AE is uh, 3A, and this segment uh, EC is. Uh, a and furthermore uh, this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 7 and this segment uh, BC is uh, X and now our task is uh, to find this value of uh, X by using the Menelaus uh, theorem please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and now let's go over the Menelaus theorem and now we are going to discuss uh, two scenarios for uh, Menelaus theorem. And here's our very first uh, scenario. Let's assume that uh, this triangle ABC, our uh, principal triangle, and uh, D is our extended point. And our uh, Menelaus theorem uh, is going to work uh, this way. Let's focus. It's going to go D goes to C and uh, D goes to B. So therefore, I can write down uh, DC divided by DB and then times BF and then A. Let me write down uh, BF divided by B, rather F, A and then times. And then we're going to go this direction. We're going to go A to E and then E to C and then we're going to stop. Let me go ahead and write down this ratio. A E divided by E C and this whole thing is going to be equal to 1. And here's our flow chart once again. Let me go over once again. We're going to go D to C and once again we're going to go hop D to B, B to F, F to A, a to E and then E to C and then we stop and here's our second uh, scenario let's assume that this uh, D B F uh, triangle is our principal triangle and this uh, point A is uh, our extended point and in this case uh, our flow chart is going to look like uh, A to goes to F uh, and then uh, A hops to B as uh, well then B goes to C, C goes to D, D goes to E and finally E goes to F as you can see in this uh, equation and both of these equations are equal to 1. Now we can see that this uh, second scenario is not going to work because we don't know these uh, line segments uh, D, E and uh, E, F. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this second uh, scenario and we are going to apply this uh, first scenario to this uh, problem and we can see that these two side lengths AF and FB are uh, same let's assume that this side length uh, is lowercase b and this side length is lowercase b as well now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula in our case uh, DC is uh, 7 so let me write down 7 divided by and then we're going to have a d goes uh, to b so therefore we're going to have a 7 plus uh, x so i can write x plus uh, 7 therefore our db is going to be x plus uh, 7 times our this uh, bf value is b and fa value is b as well so let me write down uh, b divided by b times finally let's go this way so a e is 3a and e c is lowercase a let me go ahead and write down 3a divided by a equals to 1 on the right hand side and now we can see b and this b they cancel each other out a is gone with this a so on the left hand side we got 7 times 3 on the numerator that's going to be a 21 divided by x plus 7 
equals to one and here let me tweak this one on the right hand side one could be written as one divided by one and then we're gonna cross uh, multiply so therefore the left hand side is going to be x plus seven times one is going to be x plus seven equals to 21 times one is going to give us 21 let's go ahead and subtract seven from both sides this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 14 units so thus our x value turns out to be 14 uh, unit by using uh, this uh, Menelaus theorem and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye